Welcome back everyone and in this video we are going to look at how to insert figures, schemes and tables into your Word document as well as using Word's auto captioning function. So first let's look at how to incorporate a figure for example. So in your Word document you want to insert let's say some IR spectra and you've downloaded the IR spectra from ClickUp. You can click on it, you can copy it, so you can right click copy or control C go back to your Word document, you can control and V or right click paste. Now you're going to see it's going to look something like this. So just resize it. You can do it in here, for example. Let's make it a page is about 18 centimeters wide. So we'll make it 18. Okay. And we want to rotate it to the right, not to the left, to the right, not to the right, okay. And don't worry about looking terrible at the moment, but now we've inserted our figure, right? We also, let's say we want to insert a scheme. So the difference between a scheme and a figure is a scheme is usually something like a chemical reaction, which looks something like this, <clears throat> versus a figure is something that is like a not a scheme, <laughs> in, in essence. So a scheme is what you call a specialized figure. And a figure is, well, a figure. Anything that's picture like a graph, a plot, a whatever. And then you can get the specialized figure, which is the scheme. And the scheme usually has some things plus one another and arrows. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a chemical reaction. It could be a scheme for showing how to make coffee. You know, so then it's well, boiled water plus this uh, plus coffee powder plus sugar plus uh, whatever you would like to add gives coffee you know it's also a scheme of, of sorts so we've added a figure we've added a scheme so the scheme will probably be the same that you add as a figure um, because you'll add pictures but just to differentiate between what a figure and a scheme is and then the final part is a table so if you want to insert a table, you go to insert, table, and now you need to draw however big table you would like to draw. Let's draw one that's four columns wide and six rows in depth. So four columns, one, two, three, four, rows, one, two, three, four, five, six rows. Okay, so insert table and you draw the table. All right, so now that we have these three things in, <clears throat> where do we insert their caption? So a caption is something that explains or gives a name to what this is. So typically, what you guys would have done up to now, basically, is you would have done this, and you would have said figure one. And maybe you like to use the colon, the full stop, the dash, whatever you would like to use. And you would have said, I are spectrum of acetone and we have left it at that and this we would say for example is the scheme of so this is scheme one and this is the um, chlorination of benzene for example uh, of course, these aren't very illustrative. Your uh, captions should be much better than what I have here, but these are just for illustrative purposes. And then in your table, you might have had table, or table one, and you would say some, some table. Okay, so there's our three captions. So it, firstly, where did they go? So this one, went below the figures. So figures are captioned below them. So you have figure, then the caption. Same with the scheme. You have a scheme, then the caption. But the table first has the table caption and then the table. Okay, very important. Please remember that. That's a mistake I still saw in 385. Some of you, not all, but there were still mistakes. Okay, so now let's say, for example, you have 2 million figures in your document, and you don't want to go by hand and number them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. You want a way so that you can number them automatically. And I'll 
Word can help you with this. So that is our, our caption that we want to use. And then if you go up here to your ribbon, above the design, so between the draw and design options here to in the top left corner, you can see there's a little picture there. It says, when you hover over it, it says insert caption. Then you left click on that. And then it will give you the option to add a, a caption. So meaning a figure, a table, a scheme or whatever. And if you go to label here, you'll see there's options for equation, figure, scheme and table. We'll get to equation in a subsequent video. So here we'll, fig we'll focus on figure, scheme, and table. So this is a figure. And you don't make sure that this box is unticked. Otherwise, it's just going to give you a one. You want it exclude label from captions. In other words, you have finger, figure one. Also, you can make sure that it says figure one by going to the numbering and making sure this box is unticked. Because if you say include chapter number, is going to link it with heading one. So because we have a heading one in our document, this is then going to become figure 1.1. But because you're using the article style for 382, you don't want that. You just want to number it as figure one. Okay, so now we've inserted that. There's your space. You can add things here. And there you've automatically numbered your figure. Okay, so let's say for example, you have another one. Let's just copy what we have exactly here. And then you right click on it, say update field, and you'll see it automatically numbers that to number two, that's figure one. And the, depending on how many ever you have in your document, that will go there. If you want to refer to it, here we refer to it. So all remember every figure, figure, table, scheme, whatever you ever put into your thing, if it's there, it has to have an in-text reference to it. So now you quickly need to um, just go to references. So this is not like Mendeley referencing, but it's just located at the same place. And you are looking for cross reference. So in cross reference, so let's just have a what's it real time replay. So you were at home, you clicked on references, and you went all the way here to the right to captions, cross reference. Go to figure, and there you see there's our two figures. The one you want to reference, you click there, make sure it says insert as a hyperlink, and then only label and number, because you don't want the full name of it. So you don't want it to say figure one, da, 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 da. you just want to say figure one, and then you say insert. There you see it's added figure one as a referred thing. So it highlights it in the same manner as it highlights this number. You see it's similar to that. There's a double highlighting taking place there. Okay. And then let's say, for example, so we refer to this figure. But now let's say we add a figure before this one. Okay, so you've realized you wanted to add something before and you made a mistake before. And okay, now, oh, you know, this figure is technically now figure two, right? So you go, you highlight it, you say update field, this is figure two, this is figure three. You can actually update, highlight everything in your text and just say update. Um, and then it will automatically update everything. And then you see, my word, because you use the, the cross-referencing, it now refers to figure two. So you don't need to keep track of anything. It does it automatically for you. Okay. The same with the scheme. So we want to add a scheme caption here. So click there. You can go to the little thing. But now just make it a scheme. And then it's going to start at one again and format your scheme. So it's labeled scheme one. So exact, the exact same thing with the table. You go there, click table. Now you see there is a mistake there because it says table 1.1. We just go to numbering. We exclude the chapter number. Go there, it says table one. Okay. So now let's say you want to make it a bit pretty because this is just italicized and whatever. You need to go here to your heading styles you see the caption one is highlighted. So here you click, right click, modify. You want to make it black, italicized, bold. And you want to make it the same size font as what you write. And there you see all your captions have been updated. Um, you can, of course, add things like this. Or you could use the full stop, whatever you would like to use. 
I also like if this is not bold. But this you have to do by hand. Um, but yes, in essence, it saves you a lot of time. You don't have to worry about the numbering. Okay, so that is what I wanted to show in this video. Um, basically, if you want to use this, you're more than welcome. You don't necessarily have to use it. It's not enforced. Um, but yeah, a great feature of this, for example, if you're going to press in control and hover over there, you can click and it will take you to that figure because it's inserted as a hyperlink. That's why I said that's important. And always just remember that in your text, in your text, there needs to be a cross-reference. So schemes, figures, tables, as always, only label and number, insert. And you must always reference to it before you see the scheme. So, or figure or table. So scheme one, then you see scheme one. You're not going to refer the first time to, you, to scheme one after it. You can refer to it 25 times after this again, but there needs to be one beforehand as well. Same with the table, same with the figure. And just to recap, figures are numbered below or captioned below. Schemes are captured below. Tables are captioned above the table. Okay, so that's all for this video. And in the next one, we're going to cover multi-level schemes and figures.